Friedrich Nietzsche, hailed as one of the greatest thinkers of all time, led a life filled with eccentricity and controversy. But what about the enigmatic figure in his life, Franz Overbeck? It's time to uncover the captivating story of their friendship, a bond that transcended philosophy and delved into the depths of human nature. Nietzsche and Overbeck's relationship began in their student years, where their shared intellectual curiosity and profound discussions laid the foundation for a deep connection. Over the years, they engaged in countless conversations, exploring topics ranging from morality to the existence of God. But as time went on, their friendship would undergo a tumultuous transformation, pushing Nietzsche to the brink of madness. One pivotal moment occurred when Nietzsche experienced a mental breakdown, causing a rupture in their relationship. Overbeck, once a staunch supporter of Nietzsche's radical ideas, began to distance himself. This betrayal left Nietzsche shattered, while Overbeck opted to align himself with Nietzsche's critics. The once inseparable duo had now become estranged, with their opposing views on religion and morality driving a wedge between them. Perhaps Nietzsche's most profound concept, the will to power, played a significant role in their falling out. Nietzsche viewed the will to power as the driving force behind human actions and beliefs, while Overbeck remained steadfast in his Christian convictions. This clash of ideologies became the battleground that ultimately tested their friendship's limits. Although Nietzsche's mental state deteriorated, his belief in the importance of individualism and personal freedom never wavered. He believed that embracing the will to power was an integral part of leading a fulfilling life, a stark contrast to Overbeck's adherence to religious dogma. Nietzsche's journey became a battle against societal norms and the constraints of traditional morality, as he fought to live authentically and on his terms. Sadly, the once inseparable bond between Nietzsche and Overbeck was never mended. As Nietzsche descended further into madness, Overbeck became more disenchanted, ultimately distancing himself from his troubled friend. It was a heart-wrenching moment that highlighted the complexity of human relationships and the high stakes of philosophical disagreements. The story of Nietzsche and Overbeck serves as a reminder that even the most profound friendships can crumble when subjected to opposing ideologies. But it also poses a question to society, are we willing to challenge our own beliefs and open our minds to alternate perspectives, or will we succumb to the fear of betrayal and abandon those who think differently? In a world rife with division and ideological clashes, Nietzsche's and Overbeck's story calls us to question our own understanding and embrace the idea that friendship, much like philosophy, requires an open mind and a willingness to explore the depths of human thought. As Nietzsche himself once said, there are no facts, only interpretations. It's time we interpret our friendships with empathy and understanding, lest we repeat the tragic tale of Nietzsche and Overbeck.